The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So this one is going to be different from the usual old tat on my channel, like what I did there. And uh, today we're going to do something very, very exciting. So I've been selling on eBay professionally, if you can call a reseller professional, but professionally since 2015. And over the past couple of years, there's always been something I've wanted to do. No, not create a reselling song because I've already done that. But something else I've always wanted to do, and that is to create a second eBay selling account or a second eBay shop. So that is what we are doing in this series of videos. I've literally uh, got logged on to my backup eBay account. I've done a few different things with the account information. Obviously, I've upgraded the account to a business account, all the rest of it. I already had my PayPal account linked and stuff. So the account is pretty much ready to go. But this is going to be day one of the journey. We're going to do a load. Go. We're going to put all the stuff that needs to be on the uh, sort of little page that you have, you know, your little eBay seller page or whatever it is. We're going to make that look a little bit nicer, do a little uh, tagline or description that we give you, all that sort of stuff. And then in the next video, we're going to do some listing and we're going to actually build this store a little bit. And I'm not going to build this store like crazy high or anything. It's just going to be like a little second store. But it's going to be interesting because obviously I can take you guys with me on this new journey. Of course, I will We'll have the link to the shop down below as well. So this is very much going to be uh, a bit more of a community project as well. It's going to be interesting. So with that being said, I won't ramble anymore. Let's get straight on with this video and let's get designing a logo for our store. So here we are on Photoshop and we need to do a logo. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, how can you do a logo? You don't even have a name. Well, last night I spent many hours uh, thinking in my head, thinking, oh yeah, what would be a good name? I was, I was searching things in Google to try and get a bit of inspiration and things just weren't fitting. I just didn't like any of the names I was coming up with. I just didn't think they fit the store. So, for example, I was trying to think of uh, retro names, but then I thought, hang on a minute, I might not be selling solely retro items. Or then I was thinking about toy names, and then I was thinking, well, I might not be selling solely toys on there. So I needed something broad, and I came up with the Eclectic Attic, or T for short, T-E-A. Genius, right? I mean... Uh, obviously, I've got a bit of a background in business, obviously in my education stuff, so, but yeah, I've, I've done well on that, but may maybe, it, maybe it's terrible, I don't know. But I thought, yeah, T, I like that. Anyway, so the Eclectic Attic. So obviously, our logo, obviously we're in Photoshop now, I don't know whether I mentioned, but yeah, here in Photoshop, we want to do something that has that attic-y feel. Now, obviously, we don't want to make it like crazy crazy we just want it to be something fairly simple but that obviously people can be drawn to uh people can look at and think oh yeah that's eye catching that says what it needs to say and it kind of encapsulates that um all encompassing feel of the broad range of items we'll be selling on the account so obviously i'm in photoshop here i'm not very good at photoshop so i suppose i just draw a little triangle thing here and uh then I click this here and then put a little stroke on it. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. This is pro Photoshop work. You see, it doesn't have to be crazy. As I say, it can just be basic. But yeah, just like something like that. And then, you know, just... Oh, actually, I don't even need to do that again. I can just copy the effects across. Uh, copy. Paste. Paste. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is coming up. And then we just put a little uh, text on here. The... And then hold down alt, drag that down, eclectic, eclectic. Oh, the, oh, this is like this is this logo is is popping. Oh, oh, this, oh no, wait, I've dragged that down now. There, right, that'll do. The eclectic. Oh, that is popping. Oh, we don't need to do any more on that, guys. That is the logo. It's going to be awesome. It'll be cool. No, I'm only joking. Here's one I made earlier. Yeah, that's the proper logo, the Eclectic Attic, of course. I'm just joking there. Uh, there's no way I would do that on video because it would take forever and all the rest of it. But, yeah, that is the one I made last night. So I came up with the name. And I was actually going to do it on video and kind of uh, put it on fast motion or whatever but I thought you know what I'm just gonna get that done get it sorted and yeah that that uh, logo looks really really cool 
So we've got a couple of windows. We've obviously got the top of a of a tall building here uh, in kind of the, the top room or the attic space, and then we've got the, the little sky in the background there. So that is going to be our uh, little logo. So now we've done the logo, let me take you over to the little page, our little uh, feedback page or profile page uh, where I'm going to update it from uh, how it was back a few years ago when I first put some information in there. So here we are on the little page here. You can see I've already changed the name to The Eclectic Attic. It was actually originally a different name. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't do the, uh, I thought it did in the username. So you can't have capital letters. So I couldn't put t, uh, capital T, capital E, cap capital A, which is a bit annoying. Um, and also The Eclectic Attic obviously wasn't available because someone else must have taken it at some point. So what I just did is put 2020 in there. Since it's the start of 2020 and we're starting this project, this year I thought you know what let's just put that in there so you can see I've got four feedback because obviously this account I've done a little bit of buying on it not loads but yeah I've got four feedback so it's a pretty new account um, and you can see my little profile picture here is of me which is uh, pretty funny it's literally just me because I think I had to put a profile picture in or something at the time and I literally just put that one in and then this cover photo is a butterfly so we can't have that that's not very professional for an actual store or anything um, and you can see here this is this is the most cringy thing ever so uh, hi Adam here this is one of my eBay accounts 19 years old been selling since I was since I was very young games is what I will be selling hope you like oh my god that's so bad that is so I don't even know why I was that cringy at 19 that's that's too old to be that cringy but anyway so we're gonna change this um, so what we're gonna do um, is put something like uh, the eclectic cat. Oh no, wait! I'm not even. I'm not going to put a little emoji as well. That's just tacky. Uh, not the eclectic attic. Attic. Um, and then po possibly in brackets T, or maybe uh, like that. No, I'll put that T. Uh, no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna put that. I'm gonna the eclectic attic offers, and I'm gonna put all of the. Uh, first, all of the uh, what you call it, the first letters of the words as uppercase as well. It's a little marketing technique I, I learned in uh, college or something. I don't know. I just always like doing it. Offers a wide range, uh, wide range of um, quality items for affordable prices. It's obviously it's just a very standard thing. This really um, dot dot dot, including antiques, retro items, games, game uh, toys. Yeah, toys actually as well. That's weird. My subconscious did that. Toys, games, and more. There we go. That'll do. All, all it has to be is something short, simple like that. The Eclectic Attic offers a wide range of quality items for affordable prices, including antiques, retro items, toys, games, and more nice, simple, easy. Save that. Oh, come on, eBay. Blooming glitches again. So, oh, I've managed to save it now, guys. You can see there, for some reason, eBay is glitching out for me at the moment. When I was sorting some account stuff last night on this account, it was glitching out like crazy. I don't even know what's going on at the moment. It's absolutely ridiculous. We can see there, I put, the Eclectic At Attic offers a wide range of quality items for affordable prices, including antiques, retro items, toys, games, and more. Nice, simple, to the point, easy. And you can see here, also, I've put my little graphic in there, the Eclectic Attic, and it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look too too bad there um, so now all I've got to do is change this cover photo from this butterfly um, possibly into just a nice sort of wooden background something like that would probably fit this brand uh, or possibly even if I could go onto a free image site I would possibly get a, a little image of uh, some sort of antique room or something like that I know it's not quite what we want to aim for so I might, I might do the wooden background actually because it's not really quite what I'm aiming for with the antique solely so yeah I'll have a play around anyway and I'll come back once I've chosen one
So you can see here, I just had this sort of wooden image or this image of a wooden wall on my PC and I thought, you know what, actually that fits it quite nicely. As I say, I don't really want to put, I was thinking I might put an antiques backdrop in there, but then it gives too much of the idea that all I'm going to be selling is antiques and that's not going to be the case. So putting just something simple um, just like that is fine for a cover for me personally. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you over into the account details uh, tab or the account settings tab obviously I might have to blur out a little uh, bit of the information there but I just want you to be aware of some of the changes I've made with the account because obviously if you're watching this video and you want to set up an eBay account yourself then obviously you're gonna have to change some of the things in the account settings or obviously you're gonna have to have to add an address and things like that so I'll just take you on there and just show you that very briefly now in the account settings tab and of course I didn't create this account brand new a few days ago I've had it for quite a while so I don't know the exact procedure of creating a new eBay account because I've not done it in so long but if you come over to this tab in, in the account information or the account settings tab uh, you'll see down the left hand side my account and then loads of different sort of hyperlinks to take you to different areas now what I've done is obviously I've, I have upgraded as you can see here uh, this account to a business account now it's free to upgrade to a business account there's no expense with that but obviously since I'll be selling items to resell for a profit I need to obviously have that as a business account and obviously I am registered with HMRC as well for tax purposes um, but also uh, you've got your user ID there as well and obviously you'll need to go on the left hand side to those hyperlinks and make sure that you've got the proper address information in you'll they'll obviously ask you to link your PayPal account so that then you can make purchases and also sell items so there's all these little bits of information that you will have to kind of navigate if if let's say you're creating a brand new eBay account you will have to navigate into the account settings tab and just check that everything's cool and everything's all right as I say if you are selling items to make a profit then you'll want to obviously uh, put your account as a business account and obviously uh, register with HMRC I do have a course on how to register as a business with HMRC in the UK I possibly put a card up there somewhere or it is on a playlist it's on my eBay courses playlist and you should be able to find it very easy so yeah I did all that last night or obviously I already had a, a lot of that information already in there last night um, but yeah all I did really last Last night was change my uh, user ID which was pretty easy to be honest but you can only change your user ID I think it said once every 30 days but that's not gonna be a problem I'm just gonna have that user ID for quite a while I might change that last bit that 2020 bit at some point in the future but yeah so that's that uh, obviously I've got the eBay account up and running now uh, it's now actually time obviously I've got the seller side of the account up and running as well I've got it as a business so now it's time basically to add some product products so obviously that's going to end it here for day one of starting this new journey but what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to do updates they're not going to be daily updates but I probably will tag the, the number of days onto the title of each video so you know where we're kind of up to in this journey but I'll probably do updates maybe once every three days two three days maybe four days and uh, we'll see where we take this I would say the link to the eBay store it might not have any products on it yet or it might do it depends on uh, how long I'm gonna you know take editing this video and that finally get it up but it might have a couple of products on so feel free go down below also something else just to state with this um with this store I am actually going to be doing pretty much exclusively auctions on this store so it's going to be interesting um, so it's going to be sort of seven day auctions things like that there might be a few items I put on there buy it now but yeah I just want to trial that there's actually a very valid reason I'm trialing that um, which I'll go into more detail on in a few months but there, yeah there is a reason why I'm doing auctions but it's going to be interesting to do a few more auctions on here and yeah well I'll keep you up to date with it I'll show you the totals I'll be pretty transparent with with this account with whatever's on this account obviously because this is going to be more of a uh, as I say a community kind of project and uh, and yeah we'll just see where we take this so that being said I'll see you in the next one guys Comfortable. I don't think I can be satisfied. 2015 thought I had it all. Watch it, I slow down.